Okay, so sorry about that interruption to that last video. All right, so I'm just going through what that last part was. The perpendicular height has to come away from the base shape. So 4.5 is our perpendicular height. So we put the 4.5 in here. Now if you put that in your calculator, it's going to give you 9.72. And we're doing volume, so it's metres cubed. But before that, we're rounding off to the nearest whole number. So draw your line after the whole number part. 7 is 5 or more. We're going to take our 9 up by 1, which will go to a 10. And it's metres cubed on the end. All right, now in number three, we're doing the volume correct to one decimal place. Again, we have a triangular prism. So we're going to start with our formula, V equals AH for any prism. In place of A, we're going to put the area of a triangle formula. And then we're going to put our capital H on the end for the perpendicular height of the prism. So looking at our diagram down here, our triangular base is here. It's always a good idea to go around it with your red pen so you can see it. So in the first part, we want the base and the perpendicular height of that base shape. So our base is 6.4. Our perpendicular height coming off your base shape at right angles is 4.2. So we're going to put in those half times 6.4 for the base times 4.2 for the perpendicular height of the triangular base. Now we're coming away from the triangular base. So this will be our height, 10.1. And that goes in here. And then you can work it out on your calculator. And we're rounding to one decimal place this time. That's a four, which is less than five. So this will stay as a seven. And we'll write the rest of our answer in. Okay, and we're in meters and it's cubed for volume. All right, looking at the next one. This looks like a funny shape, but look at the base shape. You have a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is BH. Now we're going to put the area of a parallelogram formula in there. The H stays on the end. So now back to the base shape, concentrate on that. Your base is 2.5. The perpendicular height of your base shape is 0.8 comes off the base at right angles to the other opposite side. So we've got a 0 0.8 there. Now the perpendicular height of the prism comes away from the base shape. So the 3.7 is your perpendicular height of your prism. So the calculator will give you 7.4. And that's already to one decimal place, so we can leave it. And just write metres cubed on the answer. So we're going to come back in a minute and do another video showing a few more examples.